Hello, this is Abhishek Ranjan. Uh, in this video session, I am going to talk about how to generate a symbol table using Python. So, uh, here uh, I have imported a tabulate from a tabulate class and then I am importing a, a regular expression. Okay. So, here I am setting the pattern for the regular expression and these are some my list which are having uh, data types like int, care, float, double, void and some keywords operators and symbols to identify whether the uh, written code like this int a comma like int a b so here integer is a my integer is a data type so for that uh, I made list so after that I am taking a input uh, which is a multiple line input and it will be terminated when I give slash like this so here uh, I am searching for variables in the code so like a is a variable b is a variable c is a variable so for variable I have uh, in the starting only I have set a, set a pattern for regular expression so according to that uh, if uh, that uh, x uh, in that list will be a data type keyword operand or symbol then i will do nothing and i'll just do continue if it is a numeric that means it is a constant then also i'll do continue part if it follows or match the pattern then only i will append into a variable list and after that uh, here i am just creating simply uh, after the variables which I found, so for the variables only I have to find the data type, char, and how many parameters they are having, like that. So for calculating the number of parameters, if the uh, list, so if the string which is enter, if it is having a data type in the first, and in the second index if it has in bracket, so it means it is a function. So for that variable, add is a variable there. So for that I am calculating the number of parameters here. So in this loop, if the message int is a data type, so if it's a data type int and so I will calculate the one parameter. So for that uh, I am iterating to this string and I am calculating the number of parameters. After calculating the number of parameters, I am calculating, uh, so I am displaying which are the param which are the data types which is passed in the as a parameter. After it, uh, I am uh, for the integer and character. It is a simple declaration. So for that, I am just created a if condition for that if uh, int a and after that a is there is comma. So a is not initialized till it. So I am setting as a initial value is zero here. And after that, uh, if it is set with some value, so I'm storing it into a list, new list, and then I am appending it to the matrix. So after that, for using a for loop, I'm just displaying it. Thank you.